The 18th and 19th centuries were informative times for Venango County. Without our military history, we would not be where we are today. The Revolutionary War not only began our country, but also our community. In 1887, Fort Franklin was built and founded under Captain Hart. This fort was involved in the Revolutionary War. It was a key factor being that it was the first American fort in the region. This fort would protect the Venango area for almost a decade. It had many people involved like George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Henry Knox, Ebenezer Denny, Thomas Mifflin, Alexander Hamilton, and Isaiah Craig. Henry Knox was the Secretary of War from 1789 to 1794. He was very deeply involved with Fort Franklin during its time of operation. Thomas Mifflin was a merchant, politician, and the governor of Pennsylvania from 1790 to 1799. He was also a quartermaster general during the American Revolution. George Washington was the first president of the United States. He was elected for his strong leadership during the Revolutionary War. He was president from 1789 to 1797. Ebenezer Denny was a soldier during the Revolutionary War who was known for keeping such organized journals. Also, he was the first mayor of Pittsburgh. He wrote two books, Denny's Vocabulary of Shawnee and Military Journal of Major Ebenezer Denny. Alexander Hamilton was the Secretary of Treasure from 1789 to 1795, Senior Officer of the Army from 1799 to 1800, and Delegate to the Congress of the Confederation from 1782 to 1783. Isaiah Craig was the fourth mayor of Pittsburgh. He married the daughter of General John Neville. Some Seneca Indians were a threat to the Americans during this war because they had sided with Great Britain. They had suffered through much loss of land, people, and resources due to the new settlements. Many documents were exchanged between this and its surrounding forts. These included information about who was in charge, what orders were to be given, and what the current war statuses were. Fort Venango was built in the summer of 1760 by the British. The garrison was under the command of Lieutenant Francis Gordon. The fort was attacked in the spring of 1763 during Pontiac's Rebellion. A group of Seneca Indians entered under the pretense of friendship, then attacked. The whole garrison was massacred. Gordon was forced to write a statement of grievances for the Indians, after which, then was tortured to death. The fort was finally burned to the ground. The old garrison was established in 1796, replacing nearby Fort Franklin. This was less of a fort since there had been a peace treaty signed with the hostile Indians. It was occupied by U.S. soldiers until 1799, then was used as a jail until 1819. The old fort was left to ruins as they built a new place.